thanking first responders with a haunting remote performance. This is the InsideEdition.com coronavirus news for May 15th, 2020. The chorus ensemble at Maria Regina High School in New York's Westchester County performed the classics Over the Rainbow and What a Wonderful World. With stay-at-home orders and remote learning in effect, they had to do it alone together. Each member practiced at home over several weeks. When they had it down, the school's choral director put it all together. The result, a moving version of the beloved classics. And Inside Edition's Les Trent reports on another version of Over the Rainbow. TV personality Amanda Holden released her version of the song Over the Rainbow to raise funds for the National Health Service. Somewhere over the rainbow. It's just a symbol to see what's on the other side, really. When the clouds break, you see the rainbow and you just kind of cross your fingers and hope for the best, don't you? Over the Rainbow was written for the Wizard of Oz during the Great Depression. It became Judy Garland's signature song, a beacon of hope during difficult times. And a visual beacon of hope has been growing in a London park. Artist Peter Liversidge has been adding painted placards with messages to frontline workers and politicians. It now stretches over 100 yards. The coronavirus has hit Great Britain worse than any other European country, with 40,000 reported deaths. There are over 4.4 million confirmed cases of COVID-19 and over 300,000 deaths worldwide. Now InsideEdition.com's Lee Sheps shares updates on two stories she's been following. While most of us have been at home sheltering in place during the pandemic, there is one couple who got stuck on their honeymoon for three weeks and couldn't get home. Olivia and Raul, who are from South Africa, were vacationing in the Maldives at a beautiful, luxurious island. They were the only guests at this resort there. Their vacation went from six days to 21 days, and the staff also couldn't get home to their families as well. So they made the most of their vacation. They went snorkeling, they sunbathed, they went in the water. Look at that crystal clear water. They finally were able to get a group together, about 40 people, to hop on a chartered flight home back to South Africa. It cost the entire group $104,000 that was divided between all the people on the plane. It cost this couple $6,000 to get home. This turned out to be a very expensive vacation that they didn't know would happen because the rooms, according to the website online, cost $750 a night. So imagine that for three weeks, plus this $6,000 flight. Will they have another vacation coming up? No, not anytime soon. They need to start saving again for that. But they did make so many friends with the staff that were there because those were the only people that were at the resort that they were able to communicate with. And they said if they do go on another vacation, they would like to see these people again. I also want to share with you an update on Nick Cordero. As you know, the other day he woke up from his coma. Right now, his wife, Amanda Klutz, shares that he still has an infection in his lungs. They are trying to take care of that so they can get him off a ventilator and off dialysis. Keep fighting, Nick. For more on the coronavirus pandemic, visit InsideEdition.com.